What is up everyone? It's Kelly and today I've got another Swatch review for you. Today we are talking about some new releases from Starly. We've got five brand new polishes and they're all a super sparkly holographic full coverage glitter finish. If you haven't heard of Starly before, they are an independent nail polish brand that is based out of the US. They are five free, meaning they're free of five of the potentially harmful ingredients that are often found in nail polish. They are vegan, meaning they do not use any animal derived ingredients and they are cruelty free, meaning they do not test their products on animals. So all of these glitters can be worn as full coverage. So I'm going to show you swatches of that, but I'm also going to show you what they look like over black so you can see how they are as toppers. Of course, you can also sponge them on. I don't do that for my swatch interviews just because I want you to be able to see how products look painted on as normally. But if you don't know how to do that, I do have a pretty old video on how to sponge on your glitter. So I'll link that up in the cards. But before we dive into the swatches, I want to take a quick moment to thank the sponsor of today's video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills. If you have a specific skill you're trying to learn, Skillshare is the perfect place to start. From photography and illustration to graphic design, even freelancing, you can find classes that'll match your goals and interests. I've been using Skillshare for a really long time now, but lately I've been really focusing in on more mindfulness and living intentionally. I actually just started a new class called Document Your Life, Four Methods to Live More Intentionally by Nathaniel Drew. And it is exactly what I've been looking for. It's just learning how to focus on experiences and how to be mindful and not just go through the day on autopilot. And I've just been finding it so helpful so far. Right now, Skillshare is offering a one month free trial for the first thousand people to click on the link in my description or use the code Kelly Mercer at checkout. So definitely check Check that out. Like I said, I highly recommend it. I always like to remind you guys that I have been paying for Skillshare since before I ever started working with them. So it's really something that I value a lot. I have learned so much from their classes. So thank you again to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. And now let's get back into the nail polish. So first, let me show you the swatches and then we'll talk a little bit more about pricing and availability and all that good stuff. So roll the footage. So as with all of my swatch and review videos, I am using base coat underneath all of my swatches just to protect my natural nail and prevent any stains. Today I am using the Cuccio base coat. As you may remember, they recently changed their brush to have that rounded tip. Definitely enjoying it so far. So moving on to the actual swatches, the first shade that I'm showing you is this color Penny and it's a really beautiful coppery orange holographic micro glitter. As you can see, it is in a clear base, but you can build it up to full coverage. So I'm gonna show you three coats of all of the glitters today. And then I'm also showing you what they look like over black, but this one is actually slightly different from the rest in the collection that I'm showing you because Penny actually has slightly smaller glitter particles in it. I would say that this one I'd consider to be a micro glitter, whereas the rest are a little bit bigger, but I actually really like these smaller glitters. I think for painting it on normally, you get slightly better coverage. There's really no patchiness. And I think those tiny glitters just fill up the space really nicely. So as you can see in three coats, just painted on, it looks perfectly okay. Opaque. I really love how even it is across the nail. And as you can see, it's just super holographic. And like I said, I wanted to show you over black as well, since some of the glitters are a little bit more sparse. I will say for this shade, because it's so opaque, I didn't get as smooth of like an even coverage across the nail as a topper. So you can see it's definitely a little bit more saturated in the middle. So I'd probably have to be a little bit more careful when applying this one as a topper. But honestly, I think this one looks prettier as a full coverage manicure. So probably wouldn't really wear it as a topper anyway. Now moving on to the shade Limelight. This one's actually really interesting. I didn't know the name when I first started swatching it because I just didn't check for whatever reason. And I thought it was a yellow, but as I was applying it, I was noticing that there is definitely a little bit of a greenish tinge to these holographic glitters. So I feel like the name actually ends up being pretty fitting because it's definitely a yellow, but it leans a little bit more into that green side. But again, super holographic. And as you can see, the glitter particles in this one are just slightly bigger. So you'll see once I did that third coat, I got full coverage, but there was one area that was just left a tiny bit patchy. So I did go back and add a little bit more of glitter there. You can see it's on the bottom left side of my nail. That can happen when you're working with these 
larger glitters because they can be a little bit more sparse but if that's something that you are not a fan of you can always sponge this on and it'll be opaque in one coat honestly i think overall i prefer when i can wear a polish as a full coverage glitter just by painting it on just because less effort and less tools required but it's really up to your preference i think this looks absolutely gorgeous once it's full coverage and this is actually the color that i was the most excited to see over black just because i love that slightly greenish tinge to it and i absolutely love it. I feel like it's very different from a gold holographic glitter because you can see that really strong yellow and even into like a greenish color and it is just so sparkly on the nail. These are very very holographic colors. Next up we have the shade Frozen and this one is a really beautiful teal blue hollow glitter and this one is actually slightly different as well because as you can see there is a slight blue base color going on. It's not too strong but it does fill in the gaps really nicely in the nail so I actually really appreciate that as well and also a quick note that I noticed when I was looking on the Starly website this one is listed as being a limited edition so if you're interested in this one I would probably recommend grabbing it sooner rather than later because I know those limited edition polishes tend to sell out faster but again I applied this one in three coats I love the way that it looked in person I felt like it wasn't patchy at all and that's really because of that base color coming through and really filling in those gaps but I feel like in this super super close-up you can see just a tiny bit that is missing so I would probably have filled that in if I had noticed but honestly to the naked eye I thought it looked really good and this was another one that I thought looked really beautiful over black I love when a hollow glitter is saturated enough in the actual color of the glitter aside from just the hollow where you can really see what color it is even over a dark shade like this so you can definitely tell that this is distinctly that teal blue kind of color but it's it's still super sparkly and gorgeous and very holographic once again. Moving on, we have the shade Arctic and this one is more of a true blue hollow. Now on camera, I felt like for some reason it didn't pick up that holographic color as much, but this one is definitely just as holographic as the rest. The one thing I will say about this one though is it seems to be the least opaque out of all of the polishes. So I did do three coats of this one just because I wanted to be consistent across the review. But this one, I was able to see my nail through it even after those three coats. So you guys know I like a little bit of visible nail line. I think it looks cute, but this one is probably not gonna reach full coverage on its own unless you are sponging it on. So just something to keep in mind with this color. But again, super beautiful, really nice shade. I feel like this is gonna be very good for glitter gradients just because it's slightly more sparse. And of of course, with it being so sparse, I knew that this one was going to really excel as a topper. So I think that this color would work over really any shade. Honestly, all of them would. The only one I would be a little bit more careful with is that really beautiful teal blue shade just because it has that jelly base. So if you're putting it over a lighter color, it might change the color of that base a little bit. And last but not least, we have the shade Dollhouse. And this one is a light pink holographic full coverage glitter. And I absolutely love Love this color in hollow form. I feel like it's definitely a little bit more common, but I never get tired of it when I see it. I don't know what it is about that pale pink color, but it just works with holographic colors so well, and it really helps that hollow shine through so beautifully. You can see this is intensely sparkly. It is incredibly rainbowy. Even before it hits full coverage, there is just so much sparkle going on on the nails, and with that scattered holographic finish, instead of that linear where it's kind of lines across your nail no matter which way your nail is moving you're gonna hit the light so beautifully and it's just gonna sparkle so definitely love this one definitely like that all of these are very uniform glitters so they really work well for nail art but also very pretty on their own of course i wanted to show you what it looked like over black and because we had a really pale color here i would say that this one was the least colorful in terms of that actual base color over black it kind of looked a a little bit more like a silver hollow, but I feel like that's to be expected because it's such a pale pink anyway. So here are all of the shades together on the top row on their own and then on the bottom row over black. And I really actually love seeing all of them over black together because you can see just how different those colors look, even though they're all the same holographic glitter over black, you can really see those base colors coming through. So I just think that's really cool. And again, you can wear them over any color or wear them on their own or sponge them on and you are 
can get really nice results. So I think we have a nice collection of colors here, a nice little rainbow of super hollow colors. So those are the polishes. And like I said, I just really enjoy the quality of them. I love how super sparkly they are. And I like how intensely holographic all of the colors are. I know sometimes with these full coverage hollow glitters, you really only get a few colors in that shift. But I think that these are fully 100% rainbow holographic. So if that's what you're looking for, this is definitely the best option for you. And I like that they're dense enough to wear as full coverage, but they're also light enough with a light hand that you can can wear them as toppers. And I also really like these types of glitters for glitter gradients. So all these polishes come in 15 milliliter bottles and they retail on the Starly website for $16 USD each. I also have a discount code. You can use the code Kelly to get 10% off your order there. I also have some other exciting news. If you are purchasing from the Starly website, my Galaxy Crate is back in stock. If you don't know what that is, that is actually the collaboration that I did with Starly back in December. I have a whole video on that. You can check it out. But the Galaxy Crate is the collector's box and it comes with all eight polishes that I did in my collaboration and it also comes with a Galaxy Gang enamel pin. So definitely check that out if you missed out on the first round. I'll link everything in the description. All of my collab polishes are also available separately in case you just want to pick up one or two. But yeah, that is it for my thoughts on this collection, but I'm curious to hear what you guys think. What do you think of these polishes? Which color is your favorite? What do you think of these really intense full coverage glitters? Let me know all of your thoughts we can chat about it. If you enjoy my swatch and review videos, please give this one a thumbs up. It lets me know I'm doing a good job. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I put out new videos every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. Huge shout out to my Cosmic Admirals on Patreon, Amanda M, Rocket Man's daughter, and Paula. I really appreciate your support and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. Today's fun fact question comes from Patreon supporter Brooke B and Brooke B wants to know, can you tell us about your bullet journal journey? How did you get into it? So I've talked about bullet journaling a lot in my fun facts. If you don't know what it is, it's basically you just create your own planner. It has two purposes for me. One is it's kind of a creative outlet because I like to decorate mine. And two, I really have a very customized version of a planner because regular planners just don't 100% work for me. But how I got started in it, it was actually not until 2020 that I started doing bullet journaling. I've always been a very meticulous planner and I've always had planners. In fact, I used to keep a work planner and a home planner just to keep track of like errands, chores, things at work that I needed to get done, deadlines, stuff like that. But I actually did something kind of funny, which I now see was like my precursor into bullet journaling, which is that I used to cross out like different sections in my planner and just fill it in with what I needed it to be. I don't remember how I actually came across it, but I think I saw either a picture on Instagram or a video on YouTube of somebody who was bullet journaling. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's that's way easier than just crossing out a ton of sections. I actually was a little nervous to try it. So I didn't try it until September, 2020 it was the first time I made a bullet journal and I bought this really tiny little notebook. So it only actually covered September through December, 2020. And I just immediately fell in love with it. And now I use my bullet journal every single day. I actually consult it multiple times per day. I have it now combined with all of my work and home stuff, which is way easier than carrying around two planners. And again, I, I really like to use it as a creative outlet. I I know not everybody does like very flowery decorative kind of journaling, but I feel like that's why I like it as well. Just because, you know, it makes me feel productive while I'm also just doing something for myself. So I really like that. All right, that's it. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.